Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. So, it says find the slope of the line that passes through the given points. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So, first, what you're going to need to do is this. Y2 minus Y1, then over x2 minus x1 so that's how you do that so that's the formula we're going to be using so um so here so for you're gonna this is like for two points so if you have two points this is you will use that Okay, so first we're going to, this is x1, y1, x2, and y2. Okay, so you have something like that. So then you put, you put your line, then you're going to do negative 8. Because that's y2, y2 goes first, then minus y1, which is negative, another negative 8. And then you're going to do y2, I mean x2, I mean, sorry, x2, which is 5 for me, minus negative 3. Then you can put it, this in your calculator if you don't know what it is. Just type it in how you see it. So we're going to type it in our calculator. Uh, let me get my calculator real quick. On here. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Wait. My calculator is right here. Okay, so we're going to do... What we have right here. So it's negative 8 minus negative 8. Okay, so negative 8 minus negative 8 equals 0. So I'm going to put 0. And then 5 minus negative 3. Oops. Okay, so 5 minus negative 3 equals 8. Oops. Okay, equals 8. Positive 8. So then you will have 0. 0 divided by 8 is 0. So your answer is going to be zero so now you can yeah that's how you do it so i answered you so i'm gonna do right here just a second so you can see what i did so let's review so you're gonna do y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 and then you're going so you then you're going to put it on your number so you're gonna put x1 y1 x2, y2. And then you're going to draw a line. Then you're going to put whatever is under your y2. So in case for me, this was negative 8. So I put negative 8. Then minus y1. So mine was negative 8. And then once I did that, I got a 0. When you like put in the calculator. Or if you already knew, then you would get that. And then you're going to do x2 so 5 minus and then you get x1 so 5 minus negative 3 equals 8 and then you simplify that and then you get 0 okay thanks for watching hope this helped you bye